Okay, today we're going to go over this worksheet on how to do watercolor techniques. So your paper should be divided um, like this. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten small boxes. And this is labeled soft edge, crisp edge, wet on wet free edge, flat wash, graduated wash, variegated wash, value, wet on wet one, wet on wet two, and another value. So this box up here is going to be left blank for the time being. We're going to start with the soft edge technique. So I have my paints and I have my brush, which is rounded. And I actually have two cups of water, one for clean and one for dirty. And I've got my paints. My, I also have a paper towel. So the first step that you always want to do is wet your paints. So we're going to get the pigment wet. So I, I wash out my brush every time so I'm not mixing my colors in, into each other. This blank part of the container is going to be the palette and that's where we mix the colors. You definitely need to use that. I'm not going to get my black wet because we're not going to use that. So for the first soft edge, we basically paint two, uh, we'll paint one color and drying time matters in this. So when, when it's still wet, we'll put in the second color. Okay, so we'll do red. So I'm getting my red, you know, saturated with the paint and water. And I'm going to do one line across. And because this is still wet, I'm going to be able to do the soft edge. So I'm going to clean this out. And immediately, I'm going to get my other colors. So let's do blue. And I'm going to paint it next to it. And it's going to touch it. And you can see how this in the middle is a soft edge and it kind of bleeds into one another. So I'm only, you know, I'm not going to go over it a ton. If you want to pick up some of that extra paint, you can um, wash out your brush and then dab it on your newspaper or paper towel. And then you can kind of pick it up and see how that soaks it up a little bit. Okay, the crisp edge, we're going to let it dry in between. So I'm going to do the red. I'm going to paint it. And then we're going to let it dry. So I'm going to blow on it a little bit so it dries. And then We can do um, the color next to it and maybe not have it touch so close. So you got to be very careful with this because this is still wet. So if I don't want it to touch, I'm not going to touch it. So see how that's a hard edge? I'm going to come a little bit closer and hopefully, yeah, it's not dry yet. So we're going to go back and redo that. So this is a crisp edge when there's a hard edge and a hard edge. I didn't let it dry long enough, so I'm going to go back in there and fix it once that's dry. The next one is wet on wet free edge. So this one, we're going to do the color. So I'll do those colors again. So we're going to do red. And then we're going to do blue. Let 
see how quickly I'm working. I can make, I don't mind if they touch. You can see how it runs into each other. Now, I'm going to wash out my brush so it's clean. And I'm going to use a little water on there. And I'm going to put the water along those edges. See how it softens it? So look, water. And then it touches it. See how it softens it. And then if I want it less, I can just dab the water from my brush and kind of pick it up a little bit more. There you go. Okay, the next one is we're going to do a flat wash. So a flat wash is working quickly side to side, by, line by line. You should make a little puddle. So I'm getting my paint and I'm making a puddle. I want it dark, okay? So a flat wash is when it all, we're gonna fill a good space and I'm gonna go line to line. Look how fast I'm moving. I still have a drip. I can pick up more paint if I want. And just go side to side. And it should be pretty. Now I'm not going back into it and working it again. I did it once, should be good enough. If you keep going into it, if I wanna pick up anything extra, I dapped my brush on my paper towel and I picked up that. I'm not gonna go back up into it, that messes it up. So with watercolor, it's kind of a one-time fast thing. If you wanna fix it, you can go back later when it's dry. So um, a graduated wash is like this, but we're gonna clean out our brush midway through and make it lighter. So I'm gonna start with a dark blue See, I'm adding more paint. I'm going to start dark. I'm going to do a few lines dark. And then I'm going to wash out my brush. See how it's lighter now? And then wash out my brush more. So I don't have any more color on my brush. It's just water. And it should get lighter like that. Okay. A variegated wash is we can do different colors. So let's mix up um, red. Clean it out. And then we can do yellow. And then we'll do blue. So we'll do primary colors. Okay, so I'm going to start with my red. I'm going on my dry paper. I go one, two, three. I can go a little bit darker. So I can go back up into it if it's still wet. I'm going to wash out my brush. Then I'm going to do my yellow quickly. One, two, three. Wash it out. And then get my blue. And one, two, three. This is kind of dark. Okay, so then it's kind of a lot of water on this. I'm going to pick it up with my dry brush, that puddle. I'm going to soak it up. I'm going to go back into this one and fix it because now this red is pretty dry. So you want a crisp edge. I don't want that space in between. So I'm going to go back. I'm not using much water for this. And see, this is crisp and I'm covering that white space. So there we go. Better. Okay, now we're going to do a value. So it's kind of like this wash, but it's going to be separate. So let's do one dark value of blue. That means a lot of paint. It should be the darkest on here. Let's actually do one on top with a little black. So 
So I'm going to wash this out, add a tiny bit of black. And then we'll do a dark, dark one up here. Okay. So I'm going to go lighter my blue by basically adding more water. Like that. I can maybe do a little more. I'm going to wash out my brush and go even lighter. And I can do one last one. Okay, I got a lot of paint floating around on there, so I'm gonna dab my brush, soak up the water, and I can dab it and pick that up. Like soak it up a little bit. I don't want to do it too much because I don't want those dots to remain. They should kind of fix themselves. The next one is wet on wet. So for this one, I'm going to put water. So you put water first. That's why it's called wet on wet. Water first. And then let's just drop in some colors and see what happens. Wow. See how it bleeds out? Then I could do blue. And then I could do red. And you don't want to overwork it, really. Watch, if I add a little yellow, this might start getting kind of muddy. But that's one. And let's do it again, just to practice. So this one, I want you to get a little bit more. So I'm going to do dark blue, bright blue, purple. So I'm rinsing out my brush every time I get a new color. Uh, so this one, I'm layering it a little bit. And then maybe I'll, I'll add a little bit more blue. We're just playing around to see how it all is working. A little bit of water. And a little bit. Okay, so that's just fun. Super fun to see it from, like just move around. Okay. The last one, let's do value with one other color. So let's do value with red. So red, wash this out. I'm going to add a tiny bit of black. Ooh, that's a lot of black. See how that got, got dark super fast? Let me add a little bit more red in here. Okay, so this will be the first value. So that's like a black with red makes a pretty maroon color. Wash my brush out, then I'm going to get plain red. Okay, now I'm going to wash my brush out and add a little water. And you can see it's getting lighter. Now I'm going to wash my brush out even more. And get lighter. All right, so that is the first work.